today I want to show you how to do a cherry blossom tree painting. Uh, this activity is neat because it's simple, it's fast, it's quick. Um, you'll get to use a soda bottle, which I think is pretty cool, and the project turns out really pretty at the very end. So let's get right into it. Here are the supplies that you'll need for this project. I have a Dr. Pepper bottle that's two liters. I found a poster board that's 22 by 14, but if you have a long canvas, you can use that as well. I have different colored paints here. I have white, black, red, and pink. I have a little bit of water and a paper plate and two paintbrushes. One is going to be for the tree trunk and branches, and the other one that has a skinnier tip will be for the details. All right, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to take the brush that has a little bit of a wider tip and I'm gonna start drying the tree with branches. Now I wanna keep in mind not to go all the way to the edge of the paper because I'm going to be stamping the leaves. So I'm gonna start out with kind of a, a center branch here and wanna thicken the tree trunk over here and then I'm gonna do some branches that go off to the side and you can put your branches wherever you'd like. Just make sure when you draw, you don't go all the way to the edge of the paper. And I'm gonna go a little bit higher here on the top. And you can even do some branches that go off of another branch. So see how I went off of one that I created? And keep in mind, you do wanna leave room for the leaves. And I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple and basic here, so I don't wanna to create too many branches. So I think I'm good with how this looks here. So I'm gonna stop there. And then to give my tree some additional details, um, I'm going to do some white lines. So I, I got my brush that has a thinner tip and I dipped it in the white paint. And I'm just gonna carefully kinda of make a few lines that go across. And I'm gonna do this up and down my tree the beauty with paint is it's okay if you make a little bit of a mistake because you can always go right over it. And it's okay if the paint is a little bit wet because the white kind of mixes with it and creates a little bit of a gray effect. So I'm doing about three or four lines that go across horizontally. And I think this just adds a little bit of character to the tree. And I think I am going to stop right here. I think that's good. And next we're gonna be moving on to our leaves. I poured some pink paint here. This is the color Pink Parfait by Apple Barrel. And I put a few drops of water just to give the paint mixture a good consistency for when we stamp. It's gonna look nice and neat on the poster board. So go ahead and stir it up with your paintbrush and make sure all the water and paint is nicely mixed and you have a nice consistency. I think this is good here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two liter plastic Dr. Pepper bottle and I'm gonna dip it in the paint and I'm gonna stamp it on the tip of each branch to give the tree uh, a perfect leaf effect. So here we go. When you stamp it, make sure you dip it all the way into the paper plate so it gets nice and covered. And you're gonna press down firmly and right on the tip just like this. I like to hold the paper down and then perfect. So that gives a cool effect with the flowers and we're gonna go ahead and repeat that and do it on the top of all the branches. I really like how this painting turned out. I like that it's simple and we can use something that's around the house, like a soda bottle. So super simple, super cute. I hope you're, you had fun doing yours and yours turned out cute as well. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to doing more crafts with you.